Before starting the mushroom, I don't have anything. This is quite a simple technique because you don't need to invest much. If you press it, the, the tube is too broken. That means it's the, your, the, this tube is the material is the fi old. It's yes. the finished. To give more knowledge, I started consulting Chinese experts in this field. Rwanda has a huge population but less land. The poverty rate stands at 37 percent. Lack of food and malnutrition are long-term challenges facing the country. The biggest highlight of the Jintao technology is replacing timber with grass for mushroom growing. More importantly, it reduces annual tree clearing. Mushroom can solve the problem of malnutrition, reduce poverty, and create more jobs. After multiple visits, I decided to bring this technology back to my country. Now the Rwandan people know the value of mushrooms. Unlike before, they consume a large amount of mushrooms now. And the mushrooms produced cannot even meet the market demand. We have an association that includes 30 companies and 21 cooperatives. A total of 5,000 people now grew mushrooms. Dear Congo needs a lot of mushrooms, so I will buy them here. I can sell about 100 to 200 kilograms of mushrooms per day. People's need for mushrooms is still growing, but the market supply cannot meet demand. My two kids went to the best private schools. Jintao Technology made this happen. They both got good grades. Some kids study at the school that I founded. We have beautiful houses, cars, and factories. In addition, I provide training for young people in my village. They find jobs this way. I'm happy for them because they are developing better than me. By the end of 2023, China has built 24 agriculture technology demonstration centers in Africa. It has led to an average increase of 30% to 60% in crop production in those areas. In this planting area, the total output used to be 900 kilograms for the local raspberry we used before. But with hybrid rice, the total output can reach two tons. I feel happy when I see the paddy during raping season. This makes me proud. I always want to tell other farmers, come and see our paddy. Hybrid rice can reduce our poverty. The Chinese greenhouse technology was the first one to be adopted here for small scale growing of vegetables. People are excited about them because it was simple and uh, very effective. In the past decade, China has sent more than 2,000 agricultural experts and technicians to more than 70 countries and regions to promote and demonstrate more than 1,500 agriculture technologies to advance rural poverty reduction. The essence of China-African relations is to utilize China's development to support Africa's development and ultimately deliver common development through mutually beneficial cooperation.